Hey guys, so this is my week 25 update video. I went to two different doctor's appointments yesterday, so I have a lot to fill you guys in on. Um, I also have a new uh, ultrasound picture to add at the end of the video, and I have, or I don't have yet, I will take a new bump shot to also add to the end of the video. So, Let's see, where do I begin? Yesterday I had two appointments. My first one was a fetal echo, which I told you guys they decided to do because he has a single umbilical artery and it is more common in babies who have a single umbilical artery to have heart problems or malfunctions. And also, it's more common for them to have kidney problems. Oh, excuse me. It's more common for them to have kidney problems and for them to be small. So, as you all know, he's been measuring small. So, they wanted to check out the other two things thoroughly. And the fetal echo is done with a typical ultrasound machine. And it's just kind of a long process because they need... 40 something different angles and shots of the heart to make sure nothing is wrong. So it all depends on what position the baby's in and if he's cooperating and all that good stuff. So <laughs> um, I was in there almost two hours and they couldn't get one of the only shot they couldn't get was um this area in between the bottom two chambers, there's a wall there and they had to make sure um, on the top part that there wasn't any holes in it. And they couldn't see that part, but they could see everything else. There was some kind of shadow casted on him and they had already had me under ultrasound for so long that, you know, they just said, OK, we'll come back next month and we will try again. But besides that, everything else, when I met with the doctor afterwards, she said looked great. Um, he has all four chambers. He has all the holes um, and valves and all that good stuff where they should be. And um, his kidneys look great. And it was just such a breath of fresh air because every appointment we had gone to was always so negative And we, I would leave there feeling really depressed and stressed and uh, it was miserable and I I was starting to not enjoy going anymore because it was always something else is wrong, you know, so it felt good to leave somewhere knowing oh, I can breathe a little bit easier. One thing is OK, <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyways, after that appointment, I had to travel to my next one. These are all out of town. So I traveled about two hours to this one and then I had to travel back in the opposite direction about 30 minutes to get to the next one and then I live an hour and a half home from that one so I was just driving all around yesterday in this horrible weather but anyways um I went to my next one and that was with my uh perinatologist and she did an ultrasound for growth with you know what they do every two weeks they checked his oxygen and blood flow in his cord. They were going to check for a nasal bone, but his position did not allow them to do so. He is face down as of now. Oh, the, uh, excuse me, the oxygen and blood flow in his cord was great. Um, his growth, he actually, he was in the 23rd percentile and now he's in the 27th percentile. So he's actually catching up a little bit and everything is growing consistently and steadily. So they're really happy. He weighs one pound, seven ounces at 25 weeks, two days I was yesterday. So, um, they were really happy with how everything looked and she said that, it seems like his stomach measurement and his skull measurement are catching up. And um, his arms and legs are still like about the same as they were. Like everything's still behind, but um, it's really nice to see it moving in the right direction. And she told me that with the 
echo coming back well and um, all the other tests, the, you know, the kidneys and just everything they've done so far. She told me that the odds are really in our favor that the baby is going to be completely healthy. And um, she was really positive and, and I left there feeling great as well. She really thinks that with all the progress he's made and how good everything's looking and all the, you know, test results we're getting back as we go along, you know, and closer. She told me as we get closer to 30 weeks, we would know more. So, and she, she wasn't lying, you know, things are starting to unravel and, <clears throat> excuse me, and get better. And I'm just so happy. I, it, it literally, yeah, I was waiting for a day like yesterday for pretty much since I was about 16, 17 weeks when all of this craziness started. And oh, it felt so good. It, it, it felt amazing. And then to my husband couldn't go with me. My, one of my best friends went with me all day. But to be able to, you know, relay some good information to him felt felt awesome too because he was expecting neg more negativity you know like I was but um I think I don't think I'm forgetting anything I wonder if he'll stay head down my sister who is also pregnant uh her due date's today you guys actually so I'll be having a little baby nephew here soon but um she said that since 25 weeks her baby was face down or head down and he has stayed head down. So I'm curious to see if I'll follow the same pattern or what my little guy is doing. And um, what else has happened this week? Lots of nothing. <laughs> Lots of nothing. No, I mean, Oh, I have another doctor's appointment tomorrow, but that one is just at my local OB's office, and all they do is check for the heartbeat, they check my fundal height, and they do basic vitals, and that's pretty much it. So that's why I decided to make the update today, because most of the valuable information I found out yesterday, and tomorrow's appointment is normally just a bunch of routine, whatever. They might do some blood work. We shall see. But yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. I am going to make a video, if not directly after this, depending on if my husband shows up or not um, from work or if he is running a little bit late. Um, but I might make another video today, if not in the coming week. Regarding my PCOS symptoms uh, while I've been pregnant, I know there's a lot of rumors that P uh, PCOS symptoms get way better when you're pregnant or they get way worse or it depends if you're having a boy or a girl, how, you know, which direction it goes in. Um, so I'm going to set the record straight for all of those type of rumors, at least for how they're affecting me and let you guys know how... Um, all of my symptoms have changed, what's gotten better, what's gotten worse, if anything's changed at all, um, and all that good stuff. So look for that in the, in the coming week. If you have any other videos um, or questions that you want me to post about or you're curious about, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll make a video about that. Um, and I think that's all. So, okay. Subscribe, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope you all are doing well on your journeys, whether you are trying to conceive or going through this crazy pregnancy um, roller coaster <laughs> uh, like I am of all of these uh, ups and downs. But um, either way, very happy for you guys and all my followers and wherever you are at in your journey. Stay strong and positive. Even though it's impossible, just try your best and don't stress. But all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.